Yo guys, what's cracking? Today we're doing the reverse fan. I've got two variations for you. The reverse spike fan, which looks something like that. And then I also have the reverse helicopter style fan, which looks something like that. So here are slow-mos. All right, so let's get right into this one. So the reverse fan, whereas the regular fan goes in a counterclockwise direction like this, the reverse fan just goes in the opposite direction. Now, you might be saying that's pretty easy, but I would encourage you to try it and find out that it's actually a little bit harder than it looks, at least for me anyways. Um, and, and I think the main reason for that is because when you are doing a normal fan in a counterclockwise kind of direction, the knife is spinning into your hand and you kind of maintain control of it. Whereas when you do a reverse fan in a clockwise direction, the knife wants to roll out of your hand and it winds up kind of going where you don't want it to go. So we're gonna start off doing that spike fan. That's the easiest way to learn is to learn the spike fan and then we're gonna transition into doing the helicopter fan. So just a reminder, spike fan is when the blade is pointing straight up like this. The helicopter fan is when we're more in this kind of a, a you know, a T-pose. A kind of situation where we're, where, where we're like that. So um, to start off with the spike fan, all you're going to do is you're going to take your palm, put it kind of palm up just like this. We're going to take the safe handle, place it on our palm, and we're going to take our thumb about three quarters of the way up, our index finger and four fingers along the back of the knife, just like so. And we're going to flip the knife over the back of our hand. Immediately after we flip the knife over the back of our hand, we're going to notice that the safe handle is still sitting on our palm, and it's going to give us a nice base, especially when we're first learning for the knife to spin on. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bottom two fingers, we're gonna wrap them around the safe handle, just like so, and form a little bit of a cage. And this cage is kind of like a little pit that the knife can sit in, and it's gonna allow the knife to spin around so that the knife doesn't slide off of our hand. This pit, once you get more advanced, the pit is not strictly necessary, you don't need it, but when you're learning, it's gonna make things a lot easier. So again, right from the start, safe handle, we're going to place it in our palm, thumb on the front, index finger on the back, flip the knife over the back of your hand, take your bottom two fingers, create the little pit or cage for the knife. You can, you can do a test to make sure that the knife still spins freely. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our thumb and our middle finger, we're just going to place our thumb on the side of the safe handle, our middle finger around the back. And the tricky part with this one is we really want to take our index finger and we really want to have it resting on the safe handle about where the line is, right? So maybe a little bit closer, uh, that's kind of where you want the knife to be resting. If you if you have the knife, the, the tip of your finger touching the knife, what's going to happen is as the spin goes on, like I said, your index finger is going to get pushed around to behind the knife. Again, safe handle, thumb, index finger, flip it over the back of your hand, create that pit or that cage, middle finger just resting, thumb is sitting there, index finger is kind of touching the knife, maybe right about where that line is. Um, you're going to wind up just about here, so you can kind of take a mental picture. Remember this. This is where the starting position for the spike fan, especially when you're first learning. Now, the spike fan itself from here, um, well, the main thing is you're going to make sure that these fingers are holding on pretty loosely. And we're going to start this one just like we started to learn the regular fans. So if you learn that, this will be familiar to you. You can probably just skip to the next section. But we're just going to do quarter turns. So you're going to work on doing your quarter turns going in a circle. 90 degrees at a time. So I'll go over that in a little bit more detail in a second. Um, and then we're gonna do our half turns and then our full turn. The main key with these is you wanna keep your index finger touching with the, that little line. You don't want it to get it put around to the other side. Starting from this starting position, all you're gonna do is like I just kinda of said, you're gonna to pull towards yourself. We're gonna do a 90 degree turn. And so the bite handle is gonna be like in line with my wrist. And you can just practice that doing this 90 degree turn. Once you've mastered that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do another 90 degree turn by doing a push to the left, something like this. So I, I use my wrist a little bit there, but you mostly wanna use your full arm. 
So again, from that starting position, you can do a pull towards yourself to do a 90 degree turn. You can do a push to the left to do a 90 degree turn. And this whole time, you wanna make sure that this index finger is staying wrapped around the safe handle. You never want it to be on the other side of the safe handle or just with your fingertip. You have to keep adjusting to keep all of your fingers in the same kind of position. After you're here, you're gonna do a push forwards, which is gonna cause another 90 degree turn. And you can do a push to the right another 90 degree turn. So just working on these 90 degree turns, you can kind of just get the feel for the knife spinning around, keeping all of your fingers where they should be the entire time. Then of course, like I already mentioned, you can kind of start doing 180 degree turns. So you start doing a pull and a push to the left, pull and push to the left. That'll give you a 180 degree turn. Make sure your index finger stays there. Then you can do a push and a push to the right, another 180 degree turn. And again, you can kind of put these 180 degree turns together try to make them smoother and you can do eventually you can do a full rotation right so a push pull push push kind of a circular motion basically and you're going to wind up doing rotations and the next thing you know once you can do one rotation it's pretty easy to do one and then two and you can make them even more smooth right one two and what do you know you're doing the reverse spike fan and again the main keys here are hang on very loosely Keep your fingers in position. Don't let them get sucked around to the other side of the knife. Um, and make sure that your base here is staying so the knife doesn't you know, slide down and you get interruptions like that. So those are the main keys. So once you have mastered uh, that, you can really just do the reverse spike fan and you kind of have everything that you need. So the next step is once you have mastered that reverse spike fan, what we're gonna do is we are gonna go into doing the reverse helicopter fan, which of course uh, looks like that. So when it comes to the reverse helicopter fan, really, again, just to recap this from the regular fan tutorial, the spike fan happens because we're doing all these pushing, we're doing pushing to the left, pushing forward, and all that pushing pushes the momentum outwards. So you can do a test. If you just take the bite handle here and pull on it, it causes the blade to stick up. And so the more outwards your fan is, the more the blade is gonna stick up and the more central the center of gravity is. So the more you keep kind of things still in the middle and not don't do too much pushing around, but mostly keep things still, that's when you're gonna transition into doing that more kind of helicopter style fan, which of course is like this. And the best way to do that in my opinion is, I don't know if you guys have ever seen like those like figure skaters and it seems kind of opposite, but just because of the way the momentum works, when a figure skater, when they're doing like a spin, you can look it up right now, figure skater, angular momentum or something like that. They have their arms way out and they spin slow. And then when they move their arms inwards, which in this case, this is this would be arms out, right? When the, all the momentum's outwards, they move their arms inwards and they start moving really, really, really fast. And so it's the same kind of thing here where if you just do a regular spike fan in reverse and you try and speed it up as much as you can as you get more and more practice, Eventually, in order to get fast enough, the momentum has to move into the middle, and so you're gonna get that helicopter fan. So basically, long story short is, if you wanna do a helicopter fan, just do a spike fan, but go really fast, and it'll turn into a helicopter fan. That's one way. If you don't wanna do the whole speed up method, um, another way that's actually kind of easier, I think, um, especially when you're first learning, is um, definitely play with both is transitioning from, you've, you've seen me do the spike fan here and I'm kind of in this more horizontal spin, is you can kind of angle your wrist so you transition into being in a more vertical kind of position. So let me just show you what that looks like. So right now when you're doing the spike fan, the safe handle is pointing straight up, straight to the ceiling. And what you can do is you can slowly tilt your wrist forward so the safe handle is in line with your wrist. And if you do that tilt, just like this, while you're doing the spike fan. So let's start the spike fan, we're pointing straight up. We're gonna do a little bit of a tilt. As you tilt more and more and more, eventually when you start to get more into this kind of vertical fan, you're gonna notice that things, and that was actually a regular fan, so sorry. Let me do it with the reverse fan, I just, that's just a habit. So reverse fan, oh, that's a helicopter fan. Let me go reverse spike fan, tilting forward, and you can see that we transition, the exact same way we transition into a reverse helicopter style fan. So that's another great way to do it. And the reason for that again is because it's when you're going in this vertical kind of direction with the fan, in order to get it to spike, you really have to get a lot of upward uh, momentum there. And that's can kind of hard to get, that takes a lot of work. So as you get 
lean forward more, it's going to cause it to be more of a helicopter style fan. It's going to be what's natural to do. So again, just to practice that reverse spike fan, slowly angle your hand and you're going to wind up doing a helicopter fan. One of the things you're going to notice about this is as you tilt more and more forwards, you don't need to have it based so much on your palm because gravity is now going down this way. And so it kind of rests in your fingers. And this means it's going to be a little bit trickier because you have to, the knife's going to want to roll out of your hands even more because all of the weight is on your fingers. So you have to keep adjusting to keep your fingers in the right place. One of the things you might be asking as well is, okay, I want to go into a helicopter fan, but I don't want to start with the spike fan. In my opinion, the helicopter fan just looks way cooler and you don't need to start with a spike fan. So the way that I like to go into the helicopter fan is really quite simple. All you're going to do is, you know, take your thumb on the safe handle, your four fingers along the back. You can start at that angle where the safe handle is pretty much in line with my wrist. I'm going to flip up the bite handle just like this. And when we reach the, the, the famous T pose, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of a twist with our wrist. So this wrist here is going to do a little bit of a twist, but mostly we're going to do an upwards motion and that's going to cause the momentum to spin and we're going to go right into the fan. So let me show you what that looks like. Something like that, where we can go directly into the helicopter fan. And again, if you're on a little bit of an angle, that's going to make it just easier in my opinion. Um, so you can just practice that. Once you've mastered the transition from the spike fan angling into the helicopter fan, you can practice just going right into the helicopter fan and that'll be that much easier. Lastly, the last thing you're going to be thinking of is, okay, how do I finish this move off? So there's obviously many, many ways to finish this off. The simplest one is if you just kind of, you know, stop the fan anywhere, you can always just flip it over the back of your hand and go to open it. Um, or if you kind of stop things in a different position, you can flip it over the back of your hand to close it. But um, the way that I really like to uh, do this is something like this, where you go directly into an open and this is a little bit tricky, but um, it's not the hardest thing ever. And kind of the key with this is when you're doing your fan, right, the knife is spinning around, you kind of want to wait till this position right about here where the blade is pointing straight up. And then what you're going to do is you're going to wrap your index finger around and you're going to get this kind of a pinch going. We have your thumb on the back, index finger on the front. And what you can do is you can continue the spin, but you keep these pinched tight. So your index and thumb pinch tight. And when the spin continues, you're going to wind up right there and that takes a little bit of practice a little bit of timing honestly sometimes it's even tricky uh, for me to get it every single time but if you really wait till you're right about here and pinch you can kind of come around so what you can really do to practice that is if you go into this position here you can just pinch with your thumb and index finger and you can practice doing that so again letting the knife sit pinch with thumb and index finger twisting 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 and spinning and that's exactly how it should feel when you're in the fan something like that um, so that's the whole move thank you so much for watching guys hope you guys like that one peace